Welcome to another episode of Not The Andrew Neal Show. Fun and games at Holyrood, I think we'll call the sub, the sub headline. Not much fun. Well, not really, but our review of First Minister's questions this week will of course focus on First Minister Alex Salmond. Norris Stewart, political cartoonist and myself, Stuart Lockhead, at your service. Well, Nori, let's uh, stick to the routine, shall we? Um, uh, marks out a 10 for performance. Joanne Lamont. It's a bit better than last week, but she's still reading off a sheet. She can't think on her feet. Regardless of what the answer to her question is, you know, she accuses Salmond of not answering the question. And then she asks the same question, whether he does or not. It, it, it's actually getting embarrassing now. I d What's the point? Well, how much out of ten? Her performance was a bit better, you know. I'd give her a six for her performance, but her content was garbage. I think garbage. I'll have, yeah, I think I'll have to come back to. I may have given, I've given her too much last week, but I think um, I'll, I'm, I'll follow you. I'll go with six out of ten, even if that's less than I gave her last week. I actually think she did slightly perform better. She had, let's be honest, she had what she regarded as an open goal. But except she kept kicking it into her own net as well. Well, <laughs> yeah. oh. well, of course, it was always a danger, and she must have discussed that with her advisors before she went in. That oh, well, if you bring up this, the Alex will bring up that, and who's in bed with Murdoch oh. for longer? Everybody's in bed with him. It's a big, big bed. There's none of them innocent in it, including the Liberals. You know? Ugh. So, and what about Ruth, then? Ruth, again, she's, she, she's getting better. I won't say she was better than last week, but I gave her eight last week. I'll give her eight this week. Short, sharp, to the point. But she came on with the same question. No, oh, she came on with Trump, didn't she, this time? Well... It's the same question. Well, it kind of is, but <laughs> you know? they must have agreed, I think, to that, uh, you know, Lamont came on with uh, Murdoch and she came on with Trump. I'll give her seven. I didn't think she was as good as last week. Um, and to be honest, again, she was in trouble, but especially picking Trump. Don't know why. No, I'm not. I'll take that one back. Well, I mean, right, I mean, the... the, the strategy is obviously to try and undermine Alex Salmon's credibility but by doing it the way they're doing it they're just undermining their own leadership well with, given know? that given that there's only seven days away to the council elections in particular Glasgow I think that must have been in all the leaders minds I, I got a Willie Rennie it looked as I didn't check but it looked to me that Willie Rennie wouldn't have had a question this week you know he gets he doesn't yeah. get one 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 week and three yeah. But because of the um, situation, yeah, maybe yeah. Uh, having he having called for a statement, he mm. it came in as a supplementary quest, uh, mm. question, and he got only he got, only got one question. Well, I mean, I he, think it was he came off better because he only had one question. Well, I mean, last week as well, succinct to the point, you know, much more professional looking. So I'm um, yeah. You know I can again. It's that's a hard one because he didn't get to perform. So give him a seven. But he he you know he looks like somebody that could maybe represent Scotland. You know maybe it's because he's not been given enough rope to hang himself. I would only give him a five. No, but... I I still felt he sounded more reasonable. I mean Lamont. <sighs> now what about what about Alec this week? Given the, well, no qualifications. We usually think he's worth a nine and a half or something, don't we? Well, he's in a different league. He's still in a different league. He really is. He can think on his feet. He's always well briefed. And and he's beginning to do that to uh, Lamont now. He's beginning to do that. Well, now that you've read your script no. thing, um, which I think is undermining her. I do think is undermining her. It was quite funny last week. I, I read some of the... Labour comments on FMQs, and I'm sorry, they don't watch what, what I watch. Mm -hmm. You know, Alex Salmond was made nervous, knocked off his feet. No, he wasn't at any point. 
And it, I mean, why should he be? He's, he's the master of his. He's first position. minister of Scotland. Every question they ask on this, you know, the Labour Party, Jack McConnell, was in bed with Trump before Alan mm -hmm. got out of bed. You know, all the Tories down south, all the Labour Party and the Liberal Party, have all been to pajama parties and soirees and. Yes, apparently, parties. even when Sir Fred's name was mentioned, of course, who, who made him a sir? Well, who recommended McConnell? Him? McConnell. So I, I do not understand why they keep going down this personality route. I mean, Alex Sam has got a bigger personality than any of them, except it. Go factual on him. He was also, I thought he was also quite sharp today. They'd been, they were, you know, he did kind of avoid, he avoided getting the mud stuck to him anywhere. Um, and he also took advantage of the situation. And this, these 900 jobs in Glasgow, which is the, you know, given there's an election next week, that was, I thought that was well prepared. Well, either those jobs are real jobs. Well, they won't be able to challenge them in the chamber, you see, that's the trouble. Or the Labour Party haven't done their research. I mean, if they're jobs that have been moved into Glasgow through cutting in Livingston or Dunfermline, that's an argument, you know. I think we'd have heard about that if they were cutting in So, year. essentially, yes, she's, she's slagging him for having a, a meeting be... with Murdoch that got 900 jobs. We know, but I suppose that somewhere inside we all know that almost certainly they had a fairly pally chat and I think I, I agree with some of the commentators that are saying that Alex Salmond really come up with this job thing after the event rather than before the meeting with um, Murdoch at Butte House. Yeah but his argument there is that's what we discussed at the meeting and the result of that meeting is 900 jobs to Glasgow. So quite a good idea having the meeting. Uh, they just, I don't know, I mean, I, I, I would actually like to sit in a Labour Party strategy meeting because I don't think they've got one. Can you imagine the stushy if Joanne Lamont got up and congratulated Alex Salmond on getting 900 jobs for Glasgow? Now, what would Alex Salmon say to that? I mean, that would shut him up. It might only be for two or three seconds, but it would shut him up. You know, I mean, I, I do not understand why Labour make it so obvious it's about power for the Labour Party and not about Scotland. If they were good politicians, they would be making it look like Scotland was the first thing on their agenda. Right now, they make it look like all they're interested in is power. Mm. At any cost, regardless of, they, of course, good ideas or good strategies. And of course, they do have uh, problems on a UK level because if Ken Livingstone fails to get the mayorship in London and Labour mm. lose power in Glasgow, that gives Ed Miliband serious problems. But I mean, it was all foreseeable. I mean, how many times have we sat down with, with Labour Party members we know and said to them, Guys, you're too close. Don't talk to each other. Go out and talk to the people in the street. Mm. And they've, well, maybe they have, and they've come back with the wrong answers. I mean, I've voted Labour all my days. I've, I've campaigned for Labour. I've gone yeah. out with my, my, my car and picked people up and taken the polling stations for Labour. But, but how, that was then, not now. How can you support a party that doesn't support a social democratic agenda? OK, it's another party's agenda but they should still support it. Mm -hmm. and it's that simple. If it's, if it's good for the people, they should support it. They should be magnanimous enough to do that. And I believe that that will get them credibility with their voters.